Hello, YouTube family, and welcome to another episode of This and That. Yes, it is your boy, Rosie, your soon-to-be number one YouTube host. All right, family, this weekend we went to an event, a camping event. We took steaks to cook, and our friends fed us lunch, and they fed us dinner, so there was no need for us to cook our steaks. So I came up with an idea. I said, let's cook the steaks. My second favorite way to cook steaks is George Foreman and some split corn. And I'll drop some footage in right here of how I had to split the corn. Never done that before. It wasn't easy. I had to pull out the construction tools. All right, family, so we're going to go ahead and find the George Foreman. We're going to take it all the way up to 400. Now, if you've been around the channel for a while, you know my way of cooking steaks on the George Foreman is to take an onion. Thank you, love. To take an onion, and we split it rather large, and we sear our steaks on both sides, and then we rest the steak on onions to let them simmer and finish cooking, and they come out tender and juicy. Plus, you have onions that are sauteed at the end of the process. So family, we're simply going to salt and pepper our onions on both sides, liberally, and baby, we're running out of salt. I think we got a big thing of salt, but I think that's enough. You salt and pepper in your onions or your steak? Huh? Do you put salt and pepper on the onions or the steak? The steak. Alrighty. I need to make that clear. Well, you said Salt onion. and pepper <laughs> on the steak. Alright. Alright. Move it. And we got Fitzgerald. Move it. Y'all know when we cooking here, this and that. Fitzgerald. That's a lot of pepper, honey. Mm. Oh, I think pepper don't really over... Uh, We're over, gonna see. Overwhelm it. You're not gonna take that pepper all in all. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. What? I'm an expert. Okay. I'm a, cook. I'm a chef. He's a chef. I'm a closet chef. He's a chef. He's a, a he's a car washer. He's a mechanic. That's right. They call me Reverend Doctor Deacon Goodrich. I can fix you spiritually. I can fix your car. I can fix your washing machine, and I can fix your broken heart. Woo! That's what we that do. is a lot of pepper, y'all. I'm telling you. Your boy trying pepper. to burn your girl's mouth. It's not hot. It's just regular black pepper. Daddy, that Ooh, is a lot of pepper. We're going to see. All That's right, how you do it every time with all that pepper. Yes, okay. absolutely. Okay, y'all. All right, fam. Now, the reason we split the corn, we've never cooked corn on the jar formal before, so we're going to put it split side down. That way, it can take the heat and it won't burn. And hopefully, it'll make that nice and juicy. Now we're gonna take that about halfway through the cooking process and we're gonna slather it with some butter. Oh, all right, fam. You know go. what? I'm gonna need to cook all three of those steaks. Oh, I cooked them steaks. Oh, uh, we're gonna have one left over. That's okay, we can make some salad. Yeah, that'll work. All right, family, let's turn them all the same way. All right, let's go ahead and put the lid on it. We're gonna let that cook for about 10 minutes. We're gonna come back, slather this with some butter, flip these over. Another 10 minutes, it'll be time to eat, y'all. Booyah! All thanks to Mr. George Foman. That's a wrap. All right, fam, real quick. I should have went ahead and put the onions on. I was going to wait about halfway through the process because we got limited room, but I think we can make this work. Let's go ahead and push these all the way over to the side. Can you put the onion up under the steak or one more, Daddy? Uh, not. I want to go ahead and sear it first. Okay, I see. Put that skin off. That's why he's the cook, y'all. Yeah. She can cook, believe it or not, but <laughs> she gave up once I started cooking. You like right. to cook. All right. We're going to have to do, we'll do three now, and then we'll have to do three later. All we right. ran out of George Foreman room. <laughs> you know what? One more. Let's stack it. Let's see how that works, Let's see how it works. We're going to make it do what it do, baby. Do what it do, baby. All right, fam. We'll be back. All right, family. It's been about seven minutes, so it's time to slather some corn. Oh, it looks like it's cooking, baby. It, looks, it do. Can I get closer? And yeah, come on in. Can I get a better You're going to get no steam on you. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Oh, good. it, it looks like it's working. Even it's though good. I had to use construction techniques to get that corn split, I think <laughs> it's going to work. <laughs> I've never eaten split corn before. I don't think your stacked uh, onions is working now. Oh, it's gonna work once I put it under the steak. Okay. Uh, oh wow. Oh, 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 oh grill marking all y'all. Oh. Ooh. Come on, George. Do mm. your thing. <laughs> all right, fam. I'm gonna give y'all a little pro tip. 
When your steak starts to curl up like that, take some scissors and cut it, or take a knife. What do I do with my knife? Your knife? My knife. We got a knife, y'all. It is knife. Spell it. <laughs> That's what I thought. I don't want to lay this down. It's hot. I don't want to. Run, it. Daddy, run. <laughs> yeah. Hurry up. Worth your boy. Hurry up. All right, we're going to split that right there. And that's going to take that uh, that curl out. It's shooting. All right. Uh oh, you might you have to take it off and do it on the cutting board? Yeah, I'm going to just leave it like that. It'll cook. <laughs> hey, it's all for the tube, baby. <laughs> I right, just put the lid back on. Let that cook for about another six or seven minutes. And then we'll take it and we'll put the onions underneath and let the steak finish. All right, fam, we'll see y'all. For me, it'll be about seven minutes. For y'all, it'll be about two seconds. All right, fam, let's go ahead and set this aside. All right, fam, it's been about six minutes or so. So we're gonna go ahead, first thing first. Uh-oh, I almost left the salt shake on super mode. I refilled it, let's sprinkle just a little bit of salt. Not too much for Lady Red. I like the salt, not oh, the pepper. Oh, you like the salt on it. <laughs> not the pepper. Not the pepper. All right, fam. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna take these steaks. All right. Look at all that juice, y'all. Yeah, baby. Ooh. Let's flip that one on top of that. Let's take a couple of onions. Ooh, they are already sauteed. Did you, did you flip them? The onions? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Boom, look at that. Grill mark. And they're beautiful. All right, now. Just sit that on top of the onions. Did you ever tell them the story how I hate it? How I told you that that wasn't going to be a good idea? Oh, fam. They were going to be slimy. But fam. I would never eat them. And now I freaking love them. That's the way she loves it, y'all. <laughs> so never, I ain't going to say don't ever listen to your woman when it comes to cooking. But oh, just do it your way and slip it in on her and see what she says. <laughs> slip it in on her. That's, that's what, what she, she said. said. <laughs> she know what time it is. Yeah, baby. Last but not least, go ahead and flip that one. And yes, uh -oh, I can touch, burnt you. I can touch my onion, y'all, because it's just for me and Lady Red. Or I can lay it down and do what Mama said. Boy, you're gonna be dumb. Be tough. <laughs> All right, fam. It let's, good. Take a, let's take a look at the bottom of the corn. All right, hold on. Let me. I let can't me see it. what it looks like. It look good. All right. Uh -huh. Look at that. No scarring on top. But if I hadn't split it and laid it down like that. We'd have been probably overcooked. Bam. Y'all work with your boy. Woo! Let's go ahead and put that back on. Let's turn the fire down. Now, pro tip. Here on the George Foreman grill, you have one, two, three, four, and five. Each one of those is about approximately 100 degrees, 90 degrees. So right now we're at almost 500 degrees. We're okay. gonna turn that down to about three. Let that simmer for about another five or 10 minutes, and we're gonna pull them off. All right, family, I'll see y'all for me, five minutes for y'all, two seconds. Uh-oh, got some meat hanging out. That's what they call me back in college. I'll see you soon. All right, fam, we reduced the fire down to about a two. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut it off. Pull the lid to reveal. Booyah! Ooh, look at all that steam. Oh, that hurt my new paint in my house. Yeah. All right, fam. Yeah. Now, we could have left these on all day on those onions. They just sit there and simmer at about 200, 150 degrees. Boom, except for the little fatty part that hang over half. All right, fam. So, we're going to go ahead and pull these and plate them. And do a taste test. I don't know. For all reason, that pepper. For some reason, though, these don't feel as tender as they normally do. I did. I bought these. These are not bone. Are they from Albertsons? No. I'm not going to say where they're from. <laughs> no, that's not the one you don't like. It's no, oh, Rouse's. it's Rouse's. Rouse's the one. Rouse's you don't like. meat is not good here, y'all. It's I like they bought secondhand meat from some old farmer. I don't. <laughs> I don't know why their meat ain't. Their meat is not good. Yeah, they're not too. And I gotta agree. Sometimes it don't come out the best. All right, fam. Check out those onions. They're beautiful. Let me go on over here. Hey. <laughs> Uh oh, y'all. The king wants to go outside. Let me go take this. All right, y'all. Let me go ahead and deplate. Let me go ahead and deplate. Place <laughs> these uh, this corner in the car. Lady Red will go ahead and tend the 
Fitzgerald, and she'll be right back. All right, love. All right, fam. Which one do you take a bite of? Oh, right here. All right, tell me, say that again. It's it's cooked all the way through. Like she I thought it was gonna be hard. Yep, fourteen minutes. 15 That's what minutes. she said. <laughs> That's what she got. Oh my! It's mm, done all mm, the way through. Mm. Like I thought it wasn't. All right, I'm gonna give you your props on this all right. one. All right. Y'all know I always trying to make sure that he's wrong. She be on today, me. Today, Daddy, move the plate back so I can see oh, it okay. on here. My bad. My bad. I'm new to having a, a film crew. Let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah. So put it to the plate, to the camera, Daddy. All right. Ah. Look at that, y'all. Cooked all the way through. Actually, it's cooked a little too much for me. No, it's perfect. Yeah, Let me have it. mine. There you go. Thank you. Mm. Tell me if it's too much pepper. <gasps> I bit my tongue. Oh, that's how good it is. <laughs> you bit your tongue. Oh, sorry. This is a better piece, though. That piece you got right there, that wasn't it. This is the piece right here. Check that one out. Try that. That's the piece. That's the piece. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. It's got that little char on it. Mm -hmm. Let me show the fan. Got a little bit of fat, a little bit of char. Check that out, fam. Let me rotate that for y'all. Oh, 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 I think I smacked. <laughs> Did you smack <laughs> on camera? Oh my God, y'all. I'm married to a K woman. What did your boy say? You you shaved it down and taught her to speak. Try that. Oh, no, you know what? Yeah, I'll no, try, you that. try it. <laughs> y'all. Mmm. That fat. It's gonna go right down here and join that fat right there. Oh, it's gonna be nothing but a party, y'all. All right, fam. Let me finish two. <laughs> that was so professional. Mm, mm. I got one thing to say, y'all. Whatever you can find to help you in your cooking process, I don't care if it comes from your toolbox, whether it comes from the kitchen cabinet, or it comes from the neighbor next door. Do what you got to do. Bam, family. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. This came out to perfection. As y'all know, check it out. Check that out, fam. Thumbnail. Booyah! Fam, I know in a previous video I showed you how easy the joint formula is to clean up, so we won't go through that process today. I'll just say we'll bring it to a close right here. I enjoyed making this video. I enjoyed having Lady Red record for me, and we're gonna take this to the next level. All right, family, if y'all enjoy what we're doing here, this and that, consider becoming a subscriber. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we drop one of these awesome videos. It's your boy, Rosie. Peace.